Hello, hello, it is Jessica Gordon, and I am a room mom for my son's kindergarten class, and I signed up for decorations committee. And with that, uh, for the month of April, our virtue of the month is gratitude. And so I signed up, you all, to do a bulletin board. Now, remember, I'm a classroom teacher, so I've done my share of bulletin boards, right? But, baby, I don't know. I don't know if it's age, y'all. I don't know if it's just that I just don't have it together anymore. But, y'all, putting this paper up was challenging. I, Your girl right now is struggling. I am trying my best to get them staples in this paper i'm trying to make sure that it don't fall is at this very moment that y'all i was like okay i'm about to give up I, I wanted to quit i wanted to stop but i was like you know what i signed up for this i'm going to do it and so you'll see me trying to put the staples in so in on the bulletin board you all it is going to say we are filled with gratitude and so typically my bulletin boards were not interactive or they were, it was some type of assignment that I was going to put onto the board. But when you're outside of the classroom and your decorations chair and other room parent expects you to include all the students in one of the grade levels into your bulletin board, things get really, really tricky. And so, again, it was also at all of these moments right here, y'all, where I just wanted to quit uh, so I'm doing my best to keep the paper as straight as possible, but I can already see that because I did not staple the middle, the paper was not straight. So yes, your girl was struggling. I was having some conversations with teachers and students as they were coming by, um, but I I think I was about to quit right here, y'all. I think that's why you don't see me in the camera, but you can see that they are already going to be Spaces within this bulletin board. So I had to go get some materials because I was like, this is not cutting it. And so you see me keep trying to look, look at those bubbles. Look at those bubbles in that paper. Where was the extra hand? I got the two thumbs up though from a student. So something was looking okay, but it was not, y'all. Everything was not okay. I, I really was struggling to have a flat sheet of paper on this bulletin board. It never got straight, so you'll see that later on in the video. Um, but yes, so being a room parent consists of lots of things. Some days it is easier than others, and in other days it's like really, really hard, and I'm like, what is going on? I found these really great borders at Office Depot, and when I was putting up bulletin boards, we were not into doing double borders. But as I was looking at ideas on TikTok, the new Gen Z teachers are doing double borders. And so I was like, yes, your girl is definitely about to do a double border. And so that part was easy. It's still driving me crazy that this paper is not completely flat. But I told myself done is better than perfect. Because if I had not continue to tell myself that over and over and over and over and over again, you all, this bulletin board would have never went up. So yeah, it just would have never went up. Never. It never would have happened.
Also, y'all, a lot of talking was going on. A lot of students were walking by, but I really want you to get into this double border, although it is not finished, but it is really looking good. Um, I ended up changing that weed to a different color because I felt like it was too dark. But now that I'm looking at it, I probably should have kept it. So you're going to see that the we and the R are different colors because I was trying to make it pop more. But now I feel like the darker color did make it pop on the white and the R should not have been yellow. But either way, I really, really love the way the double border turned out. Um, the girlies who created that, shout out to Jen. I think that's Jen Z. Z? Yeah, Gen Z. I think those are the girlies that are doing it. So shout out to y'all because y'all got it going on. And y'all should have given me the techniques on what to do to get this paper straight. Okay. Here again, your friend is struggling. I was trying my best to staple those letters. Do you hear me? Um, as I was walking into the school, I lost one of my letters. And so that's me just like, I don't have my letters. Like, we are effed. <laughs> As you can see, the bulletin board says, we're F. I lost it. And then it started raining. And so when I went back out there, I do not know where the letter was. And there, look at, look at there. Do you see me trying to straighten out this paper? I mean, I know that there are better ways to do this, y'all. Um, I just don't have all the techniques anymore the way that I used to. Uh, a little, what would you call it? A little rusty in the bulletin board area. But I really love volunteering at my kids' school. So I want it to be... That mom that could volunteer once for one school year to pull up one bulletin board, you know, like when I was a teacher, I used to have a bulletin board almost every month. But maybe I guess it's like not like riding a bike because typically they say even if you haven't done it in a while, you can still do it again. And this clearly shows that this ain't that because I am just so disappointed in the quality. Um, of course, no one told me they disliked it because... Why would you tell someone that? Like, why? Look at my face. Look at my hair. Like, I really was working really, really hard to make this look like something, you all. And I just don't know if I was successful, but my double borders do look good. Now, if I had some straight paper, some better letters, then I believe that this would look even better because... Yeah, my paper. Every time I see it bundled up like that, it really drives me crazy. But that is the finished product. I love it. And then all the students were what they were grateful for.